Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy and welcome back to Legend of Spyro the Eternal Night. Okay, so where we left off, I was facing, I made it to Gaul and I was facing him, but then of course I had to, uh, sh uh, I had to cut this short because my mom showed up. But now that I'm, I'm, I'm already there, uh, I can basically just finish, just finish the game right here. So that's what we're gonna do. And right now it's 2.57, it's kinda late again because I had stuff to do. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can finish this. Anyway, let me see if I can skip this. Yes. Alright, so uh, th there he is. Uh, okay, there we go, yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay, got it. There we go. Oh shit, fuck. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Sorry, I just woke up, so that's kind of what happened. And this is one hit kill, wow. I mean, okay, come on, come on, come on. It was much better when I started four. Oh shit. Thought he was done. Cinder was right there, and she was blocking my way. Come on, almost there, almost there. There we go. Your time is over, dragon. Now watch this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I miss. What? He passed out just from that? I mean, I know he fell, but I mean, like, then he gets back up. Like, why? Why animate that? I'm just wondering. This. <laughs> He's 
Dark Spyro now. Oh shit, fuck. Oh. Sorry, I'm just not used to the new control. Fuck. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage, it just launches you up in the air. Okay. Fuck. Let's see if I can beat this guy with this low health. Probably not, but I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. What's the point of that attack? I mean, it just launches you up in the air. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. It stuns him if you if manage to avoid it. Alright, okay, that makes sense. Oh, fuck. Alright. Yeah, also that attack is... Yeah, I mean, if you basically stay far away from him... And also now I need to... Refill. There we go. Oh, shit. this attack. Let's see if I can dodge it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, did oh I did it! Awesome. Okay, let's see if I can kill him on the spot. Oh shit. Oh! Fuck! Oh, I wasn't even- Damn it! Fuck! And he was this close to dying. Oh shit, do I have to start all over? Oh god damn it. Whatever. There we go. Can I skip this part? Can I skip it? Yes I can. Good. I'm gonna wait till he's far away from me. Oh! Well done. Yeah, apparently you don't need to jump, so you just gotta, like, know where it's coming from. And I'm full health! Okay. Oh, shit. Whoa. Ha! <laughs> you missed. Oh, fuck! This camera... I'm unable to tell where it's coming from. Fuck. This attack only works if you're basically close to him when he does it. Stop it. Didn't work. It's done. What are you waiting for, dragon? Finish me! <laughs> Coward. 
Oh wait! Come on! Yeah, I know, I, I saw that cooling thing. I pressed the button because I was thinking of, of Legend of Spyro, the new beginning, when you just press Z, but then I was like, wait, this is Wii. I gotta throw my nunchuck and Wii Remote in the air. Not literally throw it, but you know. I done. You're okay, Spyro. You're with friends. I'm sorry. I I couldn't stop. Uh oh, that's our only way out. Come on, now's our chance. Just go. Get up, Spyro. We're not leaving without you. Usually, I would say ignore. Her. She's making sense this time. Ride out this storm and live to fight another day. Get close to me now. Look, I ha this is pretty intense. I mean, I have to admit, like, especially me uh, when I when I first played this, that like, just, just watch. Basically just sealing yourself until, like, you know, for just generations until you could actually... I, I don't know, I just thought of, like, you know, going into a... Basically a kind of a state of sleep through, uh, for how long is, like, I don't know, it's pretty, like, you know, uh... Just intense. I mean, I know Z Zelda pretty much done it with Link when he slept for a hundred years in Breath of the Wild and stuff. And Avatar has also done it, but I mean, you know, it's just... I don't know, it's heavy stuff, you know? And yeah, that was it. That was Legend of Spyro the Eternal Night. And it's, yeah, honestly my least favorite in the entire series. I mean, I don't know, maybe my opinion might... I mean... Because then there's, there's Dawn of the Dragon, and... Even though, as I played it, it wasn't as bad as this, but it was completely different. But I think I'll probably still like the other one more than this one, because, like, that one has a lot of difficulty spikes, I would say. So, yeah, but, I mean, of course, I'm not gonna play the other, the next game. I'm not gonna play Dawn of the Dragon. I feel like I wanna play Chibi Robo, which I found out costs, like, uh, the, the cheapest one that's, like, acceptable and Amazon's like over $40. Yeah, apparently that game's really rare now. Hard to believe I had to give it away to someone just to get Prime Hunters. Not to say Prime Hunters is a bad game, I actually did enjoy it, but I looked up Prime Hunters, it costs like $3 now. So then I'm, so I'm like, yeah, I gave something valuable away to somebody. I mean, I didn't know it was valuable. But yeah, and also, considering that my brother's summer vacation is right around the corner, that means there's going to be another hiatus. So I would say sometime until August, then I would continue playing. But of course, for now, uh, it's going to be just a hiatus. Not, not right now, uh, like, until his break starts. In the meantime, while that's happening, I'll probably try to find ways to advertise 
to just not advertise, but to show my videos out more so I can get a bigger audience if I can. So yeah. Also, I was thinking, you, you know how I said that I wasn't going to stop immediately? I'm going to do a few vlog videos on certain games I just I play just randomly and stuff. I don't know what, but... Because the reason why is because I want to talk more about other stuff, especially the Mild Pony movie, because I just realized that in the summer, there's the trailer to that movie is definitely going to show up. And once that happens, that's basically going to give you what the movie's going to feel like and what it's going to be all about. And usually for me, I tend to, uh, whenever there's something I really like, but I'm just worried about how it would turn out, I just like to first say all my skepticisms, skepticisms and like just talk about it, about certain scenarios and everything, just so then like I feel better if it's out there and once it like happens and stuff, something like that, I don't know. It, it just, it just makes me feel better, kind of. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do after this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, uh, just play some random game and and like just talk about stuff if I can. What else? So yeah, I mean... Kinda of pissed off that I like died on this guy the first time I was doing it, unlike the last gameplay. And then again, I, I might have would have died on the other part anyway, but I, I don't know. That's what happens when you just woke up, when you just wake up and then set up everything. Unlike before, where I literally played a few parts and then I got to him, but then I had to stop. So anyway, also, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's just checking something. Anyway, what else? What else? Yeah. Just trying to talk while the credits are rolling, basically. I will say, though, I've been playing Persona 5 and I actually really enjoy am enjoying it so far. I will say this, so far the game has a better startup than Persona 4, because Persona 4 I kind of felt like it was mostly, uh, like, exhibition, but this game it, like, literally gets you in, into the, invested in the game. Because before I was kind of, because the last game I was kind of, it was kind of tedious and stuff, but Persona 5 it really gets it down, you know, so, I would say so far for, for Persona 5 it has a great startup, but I don't know, I don't know else about later, so I, that's all I'm just going to put in. I'm just going to say it has a better beginning than Persona 4. As for Persona 3, I actually, uh, yeah, I kind of like Persona 3's beginning more than Persona, because like Persona 4 is, I don't know, it just felt way too heavy on exhibition. Persona 3 at least it felt like, you know, it also was exhibition heavy as well, but, um, I was still invested in that game. Most, I guess, may, maybe mostly because it was my first Persona game, so I was kind of invested in that game more than than the fourth game because I was like still new to the series. So then, when the for, when I was playing the fourth game, I was like, I already know like stuff about shadows and everything, and, or what well, didn't talk about shadows. I mean, like, I just wanted to get into the juicy parts ahead. You know, that's that kind of thing. So what I'm trying to say is that Persona 5 kind of did better on that part so far. Still trying, still going through it, and I mean, so far it's pretty good. I have to say. I hope it's good. Like you know, I think it is. Welcome to the world. What the fuck is? Oh, it's just a song. Special thanks to Ross Simons. What does he do? Yeah, so basically after this game is, is Dawn of the Dragon, it's completely different compared to this game. It's by a different team and stuff, which is, honestly, it's understandable considering how copy-pasted this game is. There were only, there's only two original boss fights in this entire game. Everything else, like I said, is copy-paste, so 
I honestly understand them going for a new team and stuff, even though if it's completely different. Though, to be honest, even the la the, uh, the next game kind of has fewer boss battles compared to this. We went from copy-paste boss battles to just like very few boss battles, and in the back of the box it literally, literally says, you know, battle like bosses and stuff, when honestly there was only... There were only two like bosses and one final boss, and the other boss is kind of a not like a boss you'd expect. It's like it's kind of like a Shadow of Colossus kind of thingy, but though you don't climb on it, it's just you know you hurt on weak points and stuff. Thank you for playing Legend of Spire of the Eternal Night. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was a, it was an all right game. Not not the best. Definitely not as good as the first game, but yeah, they. It was alright, I liked it. A few stuff in there that bothered me, but once you get over it, you know, you get over it, so. Yeah, I'll watch this. Haha, <laughs> sparks. And that's Cinder. Young dragon, all our hope now lies with you. When you wake up, it will be a different world. But know this, you are not alone. You have allies. It's Hunter. And I know that Hunter's from the uh, previous Legend of Spyro series, but yeah, he also returns in Dawn of the Dragon, so... Yeah, and, that, and that's it. This is this is the game. So, uh, of course, I'll do a few vlog gaming and stuff just to talk about more stuff. But then after that, would be a complete hiatus. And then I'll then I'll play Chippy Robo. And that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next game series. Bye, everyone.